A Russian jet fighter plunges to the ground. Turkey's government says Turkish aircraft shot it down close to the Syrian border. This is a stab in the back. The pilot did not threaten anyone, and the plane was shot down in Syrian airspace, just four kilometers from the borders of Turkey. This tragic event will have serious consequences for Russian-Turkish relations. Both pilots ejected and parachuted to the ground. Russian military helicopters are reported to be searching for them near the border. The Syrian opposition says it has the body of one of the pilots and that the second one is also dead. Turkey has released a map which claims to show a Russian plane flew across its border with Syria. It says the pilots were warned several times before the aircraft was shot down. Until recently, Turkey had been careful not to antagonize Russia because it knows that this kind of incident can happen. And Turkey had in fact warned Russia on a number of occasions that uh, Russian jets were, according to Turkey, entering uh, Turkish uh, airspace. So um, the fact that Turkey is feeling now bold enough to take this action, I think speaks volumes about Turkey's new political confidence in this uh, context. The jet is a Sukhoi Su-24. The Russian-built all-weather attack aircraft has flown in almost all significant Russian conflicts since it was first introduced in 1967. A fleet of around 12 Su-24s are reported to be flying from Latakia, which is Russia's airbase in Syria. The Russian government denies the jet entered Turkish airspace. Turkey, which is a member of the NATO alliance, says Russian military aircraft have crossed the border without authorization several times. Last month, a Russian military plane flew into Turkish airspace close to Syria, and Turkey's Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu described the incident as a mistake. Davutoglu, backed by NATO, warned then that Turkish armed forces had clear instructions to intercept even a flying bird. Russian jets are reported to be carrying out around 100 missions every day in Syria, allegedly targeting opponents of President Bashar al-Assad's government. The Russian jet crash is expected to further strain relations between Russia and NATO members, unless a diplomatic solution is found fast. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera.